Hello and welcome to the Nope Coach Podcast. This is episode 282, Making Mistakes Means You're Trying. I'm your host, Suzanne Kohlberg. How often do we hold ourselves back from doing something because we might make a mistake or we might fail or we might look dumb? I'm reminded of that quote, which I'm going to butcher, but anyway, um, it's not how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. So often in life, we don't really have a crack at anything because we're worried that we're not going to be good at it. And I don't know about you, but there are so many things that I wasn't good at initially. And as a child, I was totally unfazed by this. And I wonder at what age, I guess it varies from person to person, but at some stage we reach this critical threshold and this point where it's just so embarrassing to make a mistake. Or we think about the time that was wasted. And is it really wasted? Or is it invested? Like, what did you learn along the way? Who did you become along the way? Not everything in life that you create has to be better than your last creation. Like, growth is not linear. And I think so often we set ourselves up for failure or for disappointment because in the past we've had this result or this success and then we expect it again and when we try something new or different and it doesn't work out how we anticipated instead of going oh well that was unfortunate or suboptimal or curious or interesting and mining it for the data so that we can approach it differently instead We beat ourselves up and, you know, tell ourselves all the reasons we're wrong for even having a go. There's nothing wrong with making a mistake. Making a mistake means you're trying. If you're starting out in business and you create a program that you're super excited about and you launch it to crickets, there's nothing wrong. It's like, okay, so where where about, like, where was the mistake made? Was I not clear in my messaging? Did I not reach enough people? Were people confused about what it is? If you're trying to create a new habit, like this the people I work with, you know, habits is one of the things that I focus a lot on. And sometimes it's like the petulant teenager energy, crossed arms, leaning back. I've tried that. I've tried that. Why do you think I can speak to this so well? <laughs> Hello, I've got my own inner rebel teenager going, nope, that's not going to work. Teenagers are the worst for not wanting to make mistakes, like all those hormones flushing through their body, that embarrassment. So, you know, if that is you and you're so afraid of making a mistake, just be kind to yourself. As cliche as that sounds, even saying that I'm like shudder inside. But what would you say if it was one of your own children? What would you say if it was your friend? What would you say if it was your partner who was like, I'm thinking about this thing, I'm going to have a go. And when you do have a go and it doesn't work out, I can think of so many times where I've done something, some of them very, very recent, where I was expecting a particular result, I was banking on it, and it didn't work out. And allowing myself to feel all the feelings, allowing myself to be disappointed, to wrap myself in a blanket like a little burrito and sit on the couch and watch a sad movie and cry. And allowing myself to be confused or frustrated about what happened. But, you know, allowing each of the emotions as they rise so that you can move through them and learn from them. And sometimes it's just the tiniest little adjustment that we make makes all the difference. I remember hearing a stat about airlines, and I've heard it from more than one source, that apparently 90% of the time an aeroplane is off course. So for like 90% of the journey where they're checking in where the actual aeroplane is positioned versus where it is on the itinerary, you call it itinerary? You know what I mean. It's off course. Yet the plane lands at the correct airport almost every single time. Sometimes it's a bit late. Sometimes it has to take unexpected pit stops. Sometimes, you know, parts need to be moved, removed, updated. Sometimes you need a whole new aircraft. Like how many of us have ever 
who've traveled you know fairly frequently have ever the plane's always been on time and they've never had you know to change the plane change the parts change the crew change the seating arrangement change something the same can be said in your life making mistakes means that you're trying if you are super excited about something and you launch it out to the world and then you get crickets it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel frustrated it's okay to feel disappointed that does not mean that you weren't meant to do this, that you're a failure, that nobody likes you. Like all those secondary thoughts and feelings that come in, they're the ones that we question. And what have you succeeded in, even if you didn't get the results you hoped for? Say, for example, you launched a course and nobody bought it. What did you learn about putting together a curriculum? What did you learn about marketing? How did you become more able to speak up for yourself, to be more visible, to put your offers out into the world. Say you created a podcast and you launch it out there and you're not getting the views or the, you know, sometimes there's a podcast or something in the back of your mind. Is, is my audience growing? You know, is anyone actually listening to this? Am I just shouting out into the void? But what kind of personal development journey are you on? What do you learn about yourself showing up, recording? What kind of tech skills do you learn? Editing, uploading, what kind of conversations? It's funny, sometimes you think that nobody's listening to you and then somebody will like quote you back to you and you'll be like, wait, what? So, you know, just because you don't get the result immediately without any hiccups, without having to change plane or do some engine repairs or rearrange the um, who's sitting where, doesn't mean you're not going to get to the destination. Some people will get there faster. Some people will get there smoother. And I think this is one of my pet peeves. I did a series of three episodes recently, like within the last week. So if you go back and listen to the ones with Danielle Ryan, we talk about false income claims, selling a dream scheme. If it sounds too good to be true, it isn't. The reason I'm so passionate about this is because there's always going to be someone selling you some shit on the internet saying, you just do this, 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 and this is the three steps to the secret sauce to whatever, whether it be growing a business, losing weight, giving up drinking, overcoming constipation, whatever it is, someone somewhere is going to claim that they have the answer. And all you need to do is these things. And then you buy it with so much hope and so much excitement. This is going to be the thing. And then when it isn't, instead of being like, was this process even viable? We start blaming ourselves for the mistakes we've made and not seeing that underneath that, you're still trying. You're still in the game. You're still showing up, even when it's hard, even when it hasn't worked before. Some part of you really wants this success and I'm so passionate about that. That is the game changer. Thank you for tuning in today. I'd love to hear what this is stirring for you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can comment below. If you're listening, please send me an email, info at suzannekohlberg.com. What is something that you've tried before? This is what I want you to take away for your homework, that it didn't work and you just wrote it off. You might be like, I tried to write a book, but I never put it to publish. I tried to start a podcast, but it was too overwhelming. I tried to drop weight. I don't know how many times, but I've just resigned myself to being fat forever. I tried to launch a business, but nobody bought. So, you know, whatever it is, big, small, it could be, I, for me personally, I tried to learn an instrument. I just was like, I don't have the patience for this. And I was like, is it that I don't have the patience or that I just wasn't good at it immediately and just quit? There is so many layers to unpack here. But just because you've tried and failed, back to that quote that I butchered at the beginning, it's not how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. If there's still a kernel, an inkling, a seedling of desire for this thing that you want to do deep down inside, don't count yourself out of the game yet. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, have another go and realize if it's not perfect and you make mistakes, it means that you're trying. Growth is not linear. There's no such thing as instant success, no matter how much it's sold to you on the internet. Dust off those knees, get back in the saddle. You got this. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one. Bye for now.